Britain's Liberal Party has won a modest swing in the Dunkley by-election, but fallen short in the Labour seat vacated by the death of the popular local Peter, MP Peter Murphy. The Liberal candidate, Nathan Conroy, has currently received 47.5% of the two-party preferred vote, a swing of more than 3% to the opposition, while short of the 6.3% swing required to win the seat of the Albanese government. The Deputy Prime Minister, Richard Mulls, said Labour was increasingly confident of victory, and after 8.40pm, the party declared it believed Jody Berlier had won the seat. Conroy called Berlier shortly after to concede defeat. Congra congratulations to Jody Bellier on her victory in the Dunkley by-election and winning the honour of serving her local community in federal parliament. Jody ran a strong and positive campaign and she'll work hard every day as a champion for Dunkley in Canberra. Conroy told his supporters in Dunkley that the Liberals had sent Anthony Albanese a message tonight. Cost of, li of living is in crisis. Healthcare is in crisis. Housing is in crisis. Crime is on the rise and community infrastructure is being cut, he said. The result didn't go our way tonight, but at the next election, we are coming for Albanese and his government. Bellie thanked Conroy for the hard-fought campaign and Gratian's concession in a victory speech vowing to be a strong voice in Canberra. After introducing herself as a mum from Frankston with two hot dogs and a mortgage, Bellier said she was not a career politician and thanked Albanese for putting his faith in a rookie. I have humbled to have the opportunity to follow in Peter Murphy's footsteps and to build on her remarkable legacy. Bellier said cost of living would be her priority and while Labour's tax cuts will make a difference, the message tonight is there is still much more to do. With cost of living the number one issue with voters, the results suggest that high inflation and 13 interest rate rises have contributed to a small protest vote against Labour. The Albanese government campaigned on its decision to carve up stage 3 tax cuts more in favour of low and middle income earners to help struggling households and focused on the coalition's lack of alternative policies. On primary votes, Conroy was on about 39%, up to seven, up, up about 7%, with 59% of the primary vote counted. Bell Yi was on a primary vote of more than 40%, marginally up, but will be disadvantaged by a drop in the Greens' primary of more than 4%. The Liberals appear to have benefited from a stronger vote in the southern end of the elect electorate, er, around the wealthy Mount Eliza era. But the opposition did not fully capitalise on the absence of One Nation and United Australia Party candidates, who won 8% at a 2022 poll. The deputy Liberal leader, Susan Lay, described the result as a strong swing and an endorsement for Dutton's leadership. The Shadow Home Affairs Minister, James Patterson, said if replicated not nationally, Labour stood to lose Aston and McEwen in Victoria and would be forced to govern in minority. The Shadow Immigration Minister, Dan Tehan, said the by-election results showed the government hasn't done enough on cost of living. Miles said, The primary vote has held up. It's a huge achievement for Jody Bowie. We feel very confident in our Prime Minister. In comments signalling further cost of living relief measures were likely, Miles said the government would continue thinking how we can improve Australians' lives and make the family budget better.